solar powered golf cart video like how do you how to even do this here we are with another chinese product <laughs> amazing and great here's my golf cart and it's parking spot with all the trash cans you look on the roof got some panels well, i have it set up so while not moving and not plugged in either 1.1 amps i should probably clean them off and they do a little bit better I left it at 40% the other day, we're up, or yesterday, and now we're up to 51. Battery, and then there's my old charge controller. That one's dumb, just don't even, don't even use that. Get to the how-to. So is your battery 36, 48, 72 volts? That all makes a big difference. I'm working with a 48 volt battery. So I need 48 volts of panels. You need three things. Your inverter, your solar panels, and um, maybe some wires. I put my wires down the side over here. I just snake it up over there and then they just kind of hang out up there. You need to match the panels to the battery voltage. So I have six panels. Um, each one is 24 volts. So I put them in groups of two, 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 two and then fed that in. If that doesn't make sense, I'll put up a diagram right now because I know it doesn't make sense. Essentially, you wanna go series, you wanna go positive to negative if you wanna add the voltage, and then negative to negative if you just wanna add more of them. And then to mount them, I just, I just screw them straight into the roof. You can put glue so it doesn't seep into the roof, kinda like that. Okay, so once you have your panels wired up, bring it down a, a side of the thingy. So here you go. You got these two dudes. That will plug into the two wires coming off of your solar panels. That's the standard solar panel connector. And then that will go to your battery. Tiny wires, but you're not moving that much power. This is my old controller. This, uh, that thing there taped. And then that's super close. You'll mount that correctly in here, somewhere like that, somewhere like that. And then you'll take the two wires and you'll extend these and you'll go directly to your, to your battery inputs. This thing will control how much power goes there and to not overcharge it. It has like a, here we are, a little voltage setting so you can do, voltage setting so you can do 48, 60 or 72 and then like little settings and stuff like that to tell you what's going on. And that's that's literally it, then it just charges. The math on this is on a sunny day, I'll get 25% a day, and but that's kind of based on my roof and how big my battery is and all that. The only thing you really need to make sure about is getting the right, matching up the voltage to the panels. Oh, and then also that the weird issue with this is, so uh, the battery meter goes based on voltage, which that's just what they do. If you want to actually know the true voltage of your battery, you need to put a switch in. Otherwise, you'll get down to about like 35% and then the cart will just shut off because it's only running on solar but the voltage of the solar panels is equivalent to like 35 percent so it understands it as that and then the car turns off i've had i've like driven into a parking garage and then like battery gone to two percent i was like oh crap and just like tried to like push it home if you want to make sure you know that you can put a little like solar turn off switch also on the rxvs if you start downhill it will overload the battery so you have to, most people don't, with the electronic braking, because if you're at 100%, you can't use the electronic brakes. You just have to go uphill first or in a couple circles, and then it works. Uh, the solar system, this system has been on here for maybe like a year or so, and I've never touched it. I think people have stood on it a couple times. Um, the flexible panels are really the call. You can mount them to any shape, and they just kind of chill there. Ideally, if I wait like four sunny days, then I, it's at 100% again. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I can feel free to walk you through whatever you need. This one's going to get solar. It's a 72-volt system. That's that's what this guy's for. Um, this, just this weird controller right here. 
Uh, it's like a Navitas remake from... Just doesn't do anything, so...